What's up, guys? Come in, come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. How? How y'all doing? It's Wednesday. It is April 12th. It is my birthday. I am happy. Thank you. Thank you for all the love, all the wishes on Facebook. I appreciate it. And most importantly, if you're here hanging out with me right now, that I really, really appreciate, man. I really appreciate you taking a second out of your day to just hang out and listen to what I have to say. I'm nobody, but I hope that I can inspire you tonight to um, take action on some kind of dream. You know, maybe spread some love around the house, around the community, in your day, man. You know, um, today I'm talking about positive energy. And we hear this word positive energy and it's kind of a weird stigma type thing where you're just like, yeah, okay, you know, be happy, man. Yeah, positivity, ooh, that. <clears throat> but I want to talk to you guys on, on how it can actually impact your life and help you to make really good decisions for yourself and, 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 the, and to propel you, you know, to use it as an energy in your life to fuel you to your dreams, to accomplish a task, you know, better yourself maybe physically, accomplish any kind of goal, beat bad habits, you know. Uh, when you're living in a state of positivity, it, it kind of, it's the difference between I can and I can't. Your, ha your glass being half full and half empty, right? Uh, and a lot of times people talk about this esoterically, but we don't know about it functionally. You know me, this is conscious living for the common man. So I'm gonna talk to you guys, not only about positive energy, but like I said, functionally positive energy. How can I use that to really make something happen in my life? I met my son this weekend, and I am just so fired up about that, dude. I got to hang out with him all weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And so I'm going to tell you guys this story about how it went down, you know, how I met him. I got the glasses on right now, showing some tribute. They got the signature on them. I hope y'all can see that. Uh, yo, he gave me these right off his face, guys. Like... I rolled up on him on his tour bus, and he was wearing these, and he, he took them off and gave them to me. But uh, I'm going to tell you guys about Mod and hang out with him and a little bit of the things I learned. You know, I love to study people and their philosophy. You know, uh, I, I love talent just like everybody else. You know, I love good music. I love good books. I love art. It, all these things inspire me, but I'm always interested to peel back the layer and get to the person behind that, right? Because if I can understand the person's mind, I can understand where and how and why they created that, right? It's about understanding. I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about 12 jewels today, too. It's actually a, a principle stolen from uh, Islam, but I stole it from Riza from the Wu-Tang Clan. Oliver turned me on to this book I'm reading right here. It's called The Tao of Wu. Holler at me if you've read this book, man. I'm only like that much in, so uh, forgive me, I'm really not the best reader, it's actually a, a, a flaw of mine, so that's why I'm reading more books. So let that be a lesson to you guys, something about mindset, you know, success is a mindset. Uh, it's something I'm going to talk to you about with Mod Sun too, man, I've seen a lot of people wanting to get hyped for Mod, but they don't turn up for the openers, you know, and you're like, well, I don't know him. But yeah, but if you turn up, that's like a state of being, like if you turn up, you just turn up. People tell me everywhere I go, like, man, you got such great vibes, dude. I just love being around you. You know, your, your energy is it's uplifting. It makes me uh, excited. And I'm like, thanks, dude. You know, we'd be at Walmart. <laughs> it's just, oh, man, I appreciate that. And it's a smile, man. It's just a, a hello. And you can get that if you, if you step outside your box a little bit. So I'll talk to you about first filling up yourself with that positive energy and how you just live in a state of bliss on a constant basis guys i don't live this way just when the camera comes on i live like this all the time and i teach that like i teach people how to do that because um you know it's a spiritual thing but it's not a religious thing you know it's it's more so of just understanding that you fit into a a, a connection you're you're in a network of a common collective of people right and we're all out here with our own passions our own desires our own wills you know, our own ups and our own downs. And we all have perspective, right? So either way, I don't want to go on a whole tangent about it, but I just want you to understand that it, the, the principles I'm talking about, uh, even though I steal it from Islam, uh, I'm not Muslim. Uh, you know, it's funny how the Riza, he takes influences from Kung Fu and Eastern practices of Kung Fu with meditation and, and uh, um, a physical discipline. But then he also takes uh, influences from the Middle East and, and Islam as a religion 
And um, and so and then also rap culture. He grew up in, in Brooklyn. You should kind of have that mindset. You know, you should have this idea of not being in a bubble or closed up into the world, you know? And this is what the positive energy is gonna do for you. It's gonna bring you up and out into the world to experience new things. And in the end, that's what it's all about. It's about experiencing as much as possible. This life, this world is huge, man. And I watch too many people sit around and waste it, you know? They just sit around, drudge around their life, complaining about, you know, why it sucks, because it's raining outside, or because their job sucks. Or, and it's, it, it, they don't understand the impact that these words have on their sub subconscious, on our psychology. So either way, I'll talk about my son. I have a guest. I did a little interview with my girl Cam, Coach Cam. Oh, she sat down with me a little bit and talks. She is another person I've met out here in the world who lives this principle, you know, of, of, of consciously deciding to be in a state of bliss all the time, you know, or as much as possible, you know. Do we get low? Of course, you know. But the idea is to never stay there, you know. Never live your life a grudge. You know, this is something I've actually been blessed with from uh, as a little kid is I've never been able to hold grudges. I suck at it. You know, when I get mad at somebody, to get mad at my parents, you know, we get into huge fights or whatever. You know, let me be what I want to be. I want to go, you know, whatever. I was a rebellious teen. But I remember I stomp in my room and, you know, do like the rest of the kids out here and kick everything over. I don't know, shove a remote in my ass. They were like, oh, I don't do that. But I'm just saying, I'll throw my fit. I'm like, I'm never talking to my parents again, ever. You know, that, I'll show them. And I'll go to sleep. And because I have that little stupid ADHD brain or whatever you say, I wake up the next day and I'm like, yay, life, come running downstairs, you know, hey, mom, how you doing? We're going to get some pancakes. Oh, wait, I'm mad. Yeah, I already fucked it up. I'm already talking to them. We've been talking for like 20 minutes before I realized I'm supposed to be mad from yesterday. And then, so then how can I pretend to be mad, you know? But I've watched people do this in their daily life. They will pretend to be mad. They'll hold on to the idea of being mad. They'll reinforce the idea of being angry or upset, depressed, anxious, stressed. I hear it all the time. Just they'll reinforce that idea. So me and, and Coach Cam, we, we are on a mission in the world to spread a, a different vibe, you know, a different thought pattern. You know, we obsess about all the beautiful things that there are in life. You know, you'll hear her talk a little bit about her partner, and you'll hear her just uh, this talks about the way I talk about my girls and the way I talk about my family and my son, you know. I love my life. I love my life. I don't be bragging out here. I be trying to celebrate and you should be too. You should love your life every day, every single day. I don't get excited just because it's my birthday. I get excited because, I mean, dude, it was my birthday once. Now I have every single day and if you don't appreciate them now, which ones are you going to appreciate, you know? I'm all about getting to the materials, you know, the food, clothing, and shelter and stuff. But you'll hear even Cam, Cam talk on, uh, on today on our, our interview about how it's not about the money, though. You know, the most valuable currency, she says, is our impact we have on others. I believe that. I believe that when you can add value into a marketplace, love, you know, show somebody how to do something, if you have a skill, something that you can share with the world, anything, right? If you know how to crochet like a boss, Somebody out here wants to crochet, you know? Hell, they want your crochet art. I don't, it doesn't matter if you like the gym, if you like to write, if you, everybody I believe in this world has something they're here to express. You know, the world is nothing without us exchanging ideas, exchanging information, building things, creating stuff. You know, it's nothing if we don't have each other though, you know? And so I think it's really important to have this positive outlook because on a fundamental basis, nobody gonna fuck with you, you know? I ran up on my, and the first thing he says, is, dude, I love your energy, dude. He's like, I love your smile. And I was looking at him, I was like, no, I love yours. That's all the reason I found you. So I'm gonna tell you about what this is on a functional level, how I found Mount Sun. So, oh my gosh, dude, I'm already like, well, I started a little late, but we're like 10 minutes in, so this is cool, man. I might be here with you guys for a minute. It's my birthday. I hope you're having a good time. You know, show me some love in the comments. You know, people tell me all the time they drop in for my show, but I never be seeing no likes, no love. Man, let's come on. Come on, man. I, I, I'm out here trying my best. I'm pouring my heart out to you guys. You know, I'm studying stuff and I'm learning stuff. I'm growing something. I'm starting this business, not just for myself, but to set an example for the world, for everybody, that they can do anything and everything they want to if we step out here and we try. If we take action, right? If we first believe that it's possible, whatever the hell it is, and we believe that we can do it, 
And then we take action on that, man. And so I'm trying to set that example for people. So, you know, guys, if you could show that love back to me, you know, toss me a love, a share, tell a friend about it, you know, it, 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 it not, doesn't boost my ego. It's not about making me cool. It's about making everybody understand that we can be cool, right? We can all be happy. There's no shame in loving each other. We don't have to, to try and suck each other, bring each other down, right? Uh, it's sometimes very awkward when the... Uh, I like, I like to hug people, I tell them I love you, you know, I just, I like to express my joy and sometimes people are put back like that, like off that. I'm like, man, you know, it's sad that we live so guarded in our lives these days, you know, that we're, we're always trying to protect ourselves from something. But it's interesting when, when we get into this Tao of the Wu too, he talks about this uh, idea of mental shelter, mental clothing, mental food, right? Nourishing your mind with the awesome message like this, you know? Hanging out with other positive people, like I went and hung out with Coach Cam, or I do all the time, go to her fit camp. I kind of invest in her project, she invests back in mine, so I was able to get her on and do a little interview with me, it was really cool. So, Matsan, <clears throat> Friday, you guys, Friday, Friday, Friday. I'm sitting here, I work from home, so I'm gifted, um, you know, I'm, I'm blessed by that. I, I'm not tied down to, um, you know, any, I get to work for myself. So, uh, I woke up in the morning and I was doing my Instagram thing, going through, checking up on social media. Just loving on the people who, you know, I, dude, one, one quick thing, if you're not following me on Instagram, please go and, and throw me a follow on there. I'm trying to build my Instagram following up, but the one thing I'm like noticing about Instagram, I've never been big into this, Ollie's been just pressing on me, but as I get out here and talk to people, they want my Instagram, they don't want to fuck me on Facebook, so I'm like, cool, I, I listen to your customers, you know, if you're out here engaging with them and getting feedback, dude, it's easy to build business, you just listen to what they say, and you go and make your adjustments, so, uh, I'm building Instagram, but how come on Instagram nobody follows you back though? Like, it's like everybody just wants to be like, hey, look at me. But there would be like 2.1, I love Young and Made to Death, don't get me wrong, she, she motivates me, but I'm kind of like, I look at Instagram, she has 2.1 million followers, but she only follows like 207 people. How does that make any sense? You know what I'm saying? You gotta tell me along the way only 207 people you fucks with. No, I don't. I don't believe in that. You know. So I go follow for follow, and but just more importantly, I like to be engaged with you guys on all the platforms. So hit me up on Instagram. I was on there shouting people out, and I see my son go live. So I said, "What's up with my son?" Let me see. That's Oliver's absolute hero. I fucks with him by proxy, I guess. So. I knew about Mod Son, but I, I've only heard some of his music, and I was jamming it, but it wasn't like, you know, my shit. And I really only listen to, like, my shit, because I'm, you know, always trying to do different things, you know, so, uh, listen to, you know, audio books, or reading, or sucking up knowledge, so I listen to, like, music, I used to listen to it all the time, now listen to it selectively, but... When I started to get around Mod Son and his philosophy, when I started to read his books, I started realizing how much he was like me. You know, he's really, his, his name, Mod Son, it's an acronym for Movement on Dreams, Stand Under None. You know, and so he's talking about taking action on, on your beliefs. You know, first, believing that you can do anything and everything that you want. You can be anything and everything that you want. It doesn't matter where you come from, it doesn't matter what you look like, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter circumstances, dude. Riza, poor. Me, come from a, an apartment. It does not matter what you have, it matters what that dream is that's inside your heart that you're chasing. And how much do you believe in that? The more you believe in that, the more fulfilled you'll be. So, I run up and I see, this is what I mean on a functional positive energy though, right? I wake up, I do my meditations, I get in a great mood. I see Oliver jamming on Facebook already talking about how great of a day he's already having. It's like seven o'clock in the morning, right? So by nine o'clock rolls around, we're already feeling great and we're looking for opportunities. You know, we're, we're fueled up for the day. We've done spirit, mind, and body time. Guys, the things I'm telling you are, are serious. You know, spirit, mind, and body time. And so now we're aligned with our mission, our goals for the day, for the week, for, you know, whatever. We just know exactly what it is we want, and we got a clear vision of that, and now we're chasing it, right? And so when I see my son go live, he says, yo, I see Jim, he's like, I'm in Dallas, you know, it's the day before this show. If you can find me, hit me up, and I'll come hang with you. And he's like, find me, my hippie. I said, oh, yeah? Challenge accepted. You know what I mean? Like, why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I take a chance on myself? Set down. See, this is the difference. Naysayers, right? 
people who live in low states, what about money? What about my job? I can't do that. Dallas is a big city. I'd be like, hey, I'll find you, dog. Word. I do a little bit of investigative work. I'm not going to get into my technique, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> On slot. But I find them. I find out exactly where they're staying, exactly where the tour bus is parked, and I see it in my head already. I'm telling the boys, they're driving down uh, 35. We kind of pull over outside of, of Dallas. Cause I'm like, I want to drive now. We also forgot our smoking utensils, so we had to stop and pull over and get some of that stuff, you know? But I'm like, all right, let me start doing some investigative work. I do a little bit of uh, Instagram, you know, hacking and, and analyzing because I knew what I wanted, you know? And so it was easy for me to construct a plan to find it when I knew specifically what I wanted, where I wanted to go, and, and what I was willing to do to find it. I got up that morning, I got my crew together, we, we cleaned out our cash drawer, we drove down up to Dallas, you know, on just a chance to maybe find him. We knew we'd catch him at the show either way, right? But I was able to run right up on his tour bus and he was already standing outside hanging out talking on the phone when I got there. And he was such a cool dude because we vibrated at the same energy because people who are successful tend to be positive, it's a mindset. Right? Because they're looking for opportunities. When I run up on him, he's like, what's up, my head? I said, yo, Ma, how you doing, man? I ran up on him, I said, what's up? He was like, dude, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get my show together. I fell from Florida. Anyways, we started jamming. Uh, he loved my energy. I loved his, his too. And uh, so we vibed. He gave me glasses. And, and he told me, you know, he said, you know, I, I told him I was writing a book. And I knew he wrote books, of course. <laughs> this is my philosophy. I got to tell you, prepare. If you do your work in the background, right, in the quiet, before this camera comes on, anything. You know, I've been preparing to write this book. I've been working on the book. I've been just, I'm ready for that opportunity. So when I found it, when I stepped in, I said, I'm a writer. I've been writing this book. I told you guys about it. It's important to claim the things that you are. I said, I am a writer and I'm writing this book. He said, oh, yeah, you know I got a publishing company. Of course I do. Of course I do. Because I'm prepared. Because I'm ready. Is the book written? No. No, it's not. Will it be? Absolutely. By when? May 31st. How you doing know May 31st? Because that's when mine comes back around. I want to be able to give it to him. In Dallas, again, we come to redo the show that he missed. You know? We hung out. I, I opened that door for myself. I put my foot into that door. All because when I saw an opportunity, I didn't hesitate. I didn't question. I didn't think for a second, I can't. Everything inside of me told me, Rod, you can find him. You can find him. He just told you, come find him and you can do it. He's talking right at you. But, you know, a lot of people who don't live in a state of full positive energy, a full belief in themselves will question that moment. They'll say, no, nah, there's like a thousand people on this live stream. He's just giving shout outs. He is. But if you're a dreamer like him, if you hear an opportunity, if you, because you're always trained, I believe subconsciously, right? If you're trained to look for that opportunity, you'll find it. You'll find it, find it, find it. And when you see it, you won't be afraid to act. You, boom, there it is. I got, I knew it when I saw it, I knew it. Didn't ask for a second. So anyway, I found him in the middle of gigantic Dallas. We hung all weekend, man. You know, I, I, we did, he did the meet and greet with everybody. We went again to see him in San Antonio. We really tried to get on tour with him, but I think he's open to the idea. But it was hard to talk business, you know, we were on the road. But um, I'm trying, you know, do something really cool with Bob, man. Maybe bring him to Austin at the end of the tour. So that's going to be really cool, man. Check it out. Mansion party this summer. I'm already calling it. See, I call my shots. Just like when I called my son, I'm calling this mansion party and be ready for it. Young Crusade, I know you're on. I always show you love. Bet you bet you find stage time at that mansion party next to my son. You know, see, I'm out here making it happen for me and everybody, man, because I fuck with people who fuck with me. So, either way, my son, a great story of just going out and chasing it. I hope you can vibe with that, you know, and, and that, like I said, I want you to just keep in mind this idea of Staying positive because when the opportunity arises, you don't want to question it. You don't want your mind to think for a second that it can't be for you. Because it has to be. You know, that has to be your chance. You have to grab that chance and you have to be prepared to grab it. And the only way you're going to be able to fill yourself, work 16 hours a day, the only way you're going to be able to, Tando to talk about, get up every day at 5 a.m. to work out, even if you don't want to, 
we talk about spirit, mind, and body. That I don't want to do that part. That what if we, uh, how are we not going to, what, what if we, that's your body talking, man. And you can beat those those fears, these ideas, of these impulses, right? That amygdala, the fear reactive brain that says, it's not for you. You can't do it. It's not going to happen. He was talking to somebody else. Whatever. You're not a writer. Whatever, you know. Uh, I, I know people have these dreams that they keep tight in their heart, you know. I know, And they know what they are, but they're always afraid to express it because it's such a long shot, you know. Of course it is. It's supposed to be because life is long. Well, how would it, how, it wouldn't be any fun if, it was, if you could get it like that. But the work and the drive and the learning of these principles right here, it's about the thing you become in the chase of what you want. You know, even Mod, as much as high as he is, I heard him talk about wanting more, about growth, envisioning himself being a, a, in front of a millions of people, you know, doing Super Bowls and everything, and I'm gonna help him get there. Because I, I, I see it too. Because if I can help Mod get there, he can help me get there, we can help somebody else get there. And everybody out here is trying to help somebody else, but they only fuck with people who are here, who are happy, at love, and with peace, who are trying to give back to the world, who are trying to impact the world in a positive manner. You know, to do something to shift the consciousness of human beings and the, and, the, and the way that we perceive the world, man. If you create some kind of value like that, it could be in a, a, a book, it could be in a song, it could be in a product, okay? It could be in a blog, a vlog, a, a, you, you name it, man. I, it's 2017, it's anything, anything you want to be. Social media, uh, you have so many platforms to go out and chase something, but a lot of us don't because well, first, we, we, a lot of us don't even make it out of the starting block. These 12 jewels that he talks about in this DAO, I'm gonna turn this down a little bit because this is very interesting, is, let me just spit y'all a little bit about this from the RZA's point of view. And, um, and then just, you know, I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about it. Just, just come. He said the jewels are as follows. Knowledge, wisdom, understanding, right here. Freedom, justice, and equality. And then those are those three. And I, I, you'll see why they're broken down into little sections of groups like this. Food, clothing, shelter, love, peace, and happiness. It says each jewel has its own profound meaning, and each one takes work and meditation to achieve, but they break down like a chain reaction. It's so, so cool. And he says, first a man gets knowledge, which is knowledge of self. Then he gets wisdom, which is the reflection of that knowledge. Then he gets understanding, which is the power to act on wisdom. So, dude, these, these, oh, man, that's deep stuff. And see, you ain't even got to go to church, man. You can get it from the RZA. Uh, you can get it from the Bible, too, if you want to. You can get it from Hinduism. You can get it from your own subconscious mind. I don't really care what you want to, but the things that these principles on here are so fundamental, you can't beat them. It's called universal law, right? It's the way that we vibrate on a, on a, on a, on a spiritual level, on an energy level, on a frequency. You, you know about science and the fact that we're all made of atoms and shit, but dude, start, start studying a little bit of quantum physics, right? That's science's way of explaining religion. It, I don't care where you get it from, okay? I, I appreciate that you come and hang out with me, and I can spread a little bit of this to you, because as you start to, to master these principles we talked about, dude, you can start doing some crazy things on this world. You can find my son, dude. You can, get, you can do whatever you want. So... Um, First, we get the, the ability to understand our, ourselves and our world, right? And then the power to act on that through understanding of those things. We start realizing that, you know, it's really not that hard out here. Uh, the people that we look up to really are so esoteric. If we peel back one layer, like I told you, I always like to peel back a layer and get to know the man, you find out they came from where you came from. They didn't have no excuse. All the excuses you've been making for yourself, none of those people had any of that. The system, the the... Me and Cam are talking about, you know, like I said, political issues and stuff. All these things are, are problems, yes, but they're not problems that you can impact if you haven't even got past these three things. If you want to make an impact in those things, then build something. Grow. You know, uh, increase your impact. Your, increase your, your, I don't care what you want. You know, the, the, in this world today and age, we, we value fame. You know, we love famous people for some reason. We don't value smart people anymore. We value famous people. Back in the day, it was philosophers, people who had ideas and things to share. But now, uh, we just like people who get in front of a camera. But that's okay because a lot of the people are still smart and they use it to push the same messages. You're just not paying attention. Nonetheless, 
for those who are still hanging on me and are paying attention, we'll move on to the next one because y'all gonna get understanding. Y'all gonna have, we gonna get at least understanding off the live show. Okay, I'm spitting mad knowledge. We even getting this in Arisa right now. Mad knowledge. You're you're gaining wisdom by the time that's that's you taking action on your knowledge. I can only throw like right. We can only lead you to the water, but you have to actually drink. So I hope you know people are hanging out with me on that. So then, as you get to to understanding, then you can start enacting. You start realizing as you're impacting the world, making move, meeting new people. Hey, and stuff. Yeah. You get to start. You start realizing that you're bound by some laws, right? That there's things that are fundamental to the interaction of each other. He says, um, um, with understanding he sees that he has freedom, that he has freed his dome from ignorance, which means he has free will. But freedom operates under a law, the law of justice. That means that I'm free to smack you in your face, but justice applies. There will be a reward or a penalty for my actions. Dude, see, so th th this is something I fundamentally believe in. I don't give a shit what you do. I don't care if you're gay, trans, uh, you know, you're black, white, you want to be a rapper. I don't care if you want to be a white rapper. I don't care if you want to be black. And I don't, I don't care in this world what it is you want to do. I don't care if you're 21 Savage. You know, just, hey, I'm wetting people, shooting them all. I don't care. As long as you're talking about a rap song, you don't come out here and kill my fucking family. Right? Everybody can agree with that, can we not? I told you, this is conscious living for the common man, right? As long as we can all agree, if you can just go rap about it, write about it, make a video game about it, I don't care. Do anything about it, but you have no reason to stop somebody else from enacting their free will. And you would never want to, you know? People who make it to the top don't do it by hurting people. If you have this idea that the 2%, some of them, some of them have intentions that we don't understand, intentions that we don't agree with, right? But you can't come out here and just, I mean, like I say, I think that karma does apply. The, the, the institutions that are corrupt do crumble on themselves if we don't protect them, which happens sometimes. Nonetheless. Okay, so I'm first, but there will be a reward or penalty for my actions. Therefore, I must deal with equality because all men are created equal. By showing equality to one another, we're activating freedom, justice, and equality, the four through the six rules. It said, now all of those things build a man's character. And after you attain them, you're able to strive for food, clothing, and shelter, which also have both physical and mental meanings. He goes on to talk about how food, you can nourish, like I said, your mind with awesome messages like this. You know, working that body out with Coach Cam on, 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 on Tuesday nights, right, at the Fit Camp. You know, all these things that you put into yourself, you can get back. But also, um, he talks about being able to, once you're filled up with these and you understand these, you can come out here and start to build a business. Start to grow um, financially or physically in the things that you actually have, you know, your home and your shelter. And he talks about clothing being protection, which is really great. I like this analogy. He says, uh, clothing being a, on a, if you have a mental protection, a mental view of yourself, right, a clear vision of who you are and where you're going, the clothes don't matter, right? You can be in the bummiest ship but feel like a king because everything in this world is our perception from the inwards out. But in the end, through all this, we're all trying to get to here, which is love, peace, and happiness. And we feel, and, and, and through this whole idea, you can't get to the love, peace, and happiness until you've reached through all these different things inside yourself, understood them uh, from your own perspective, do some research into them, and, and, and either that or come hang out with me, you know, I'll teach you. But nonetheless, you start to be able to express love. You know, you become at peace with yourself, who you are, the body God gave you, the dreams he gave you. If you think about that thing constantly, if it itches you about that thing it should be doing, you should be doing it. It's given to you from birth, man. And the deep down, you know, you know how you want to express your love. Everybody does. Everybody has a love in their heart that they want to express, whether it be for one person, their dog, everything. You know, it doesn't, but we all have it in our hearts. We just have to find that way. And I feel that people never reach happiness because they don't follow the things and the people that they love. You know, they let petty things get in the way because they haven't, you know, came to center with themselves, you know, haven't made peace with our egos, haven't, you know, really settled into the things we will settle in life, you know. If we don't chase, if we don't live our, our truly fulfilled selves, if we don't um, chase our true, what we feel is our purpose, our mission, 
the reason we're here to give back. You know, Coach Cam's gonna come on right now. I want to show y'all this interview with her, man. She's just so powerful in this, um, you know, spreading love, peace, and happiness. You know, she does it as a wellness coach. And uh, so, either way, she's gonna come on, but it, you know, it's about finding your purpose, finding what she calls a platform, which you want to use to impact other people because that's where the, the most happiness you'll ever do. You guys see me, I'm lit up and I'm fired up every day and it's because I love doing this. I love doing this. I love spreading this message to people because we don't teach it anywhere else. You don't get this shit in school. They don't teach emotional health in school. They don't teach um, you know, mental well-being. I don't believe in things like depression and anxiety and all these pills and all this other crap that we're doing. dude. We don't need that. What we need is knowledge, wisdom, understanding, which can lead us on the road to our true fulfillment. You know, but we gotta go out there. We gotta seek it. We can't be afraid of the knowledge. We can't be afraid to make you know take action on the things that we've learned. You know, some of you guys could build a rocket ship, dude. Some of you guys could just build a rocket to the moon, but for some god awful reason, you're not. You know, and it kills me. But. Coach Camden is out here doing her thing. I am too, and we're we're trying to inspire you guys to too. Check out my interview from earlier today. I wish I could bring her on the show live, and I will, man. One of these days, probably. You know what? It's it, I'm gonna make a three part special. I'm gonna do a spirit, mind, and body episode. I'll make those three the next three episodes. So you guys hang out for those. It'll be awesome. I'll build on this principle of happy, positive energy, that spirit stuff, but I'll take it into the mind aspect of building a real plan and goals, you know, setting goals for actually creating something and accomplishing a dream. How, and I'll give you some tips that I've learned about building my business. And then we'll do a body one where I'll come live from Fit Camp so you can see Coach Cam live and her element and how she inspires the people around her. Uh, we didn't get the chance to talk a lot today because, like I said, we are both on the move, but, you know, go ahead and check it out, man. It's so awesome. That too. Okay. Yeah, okay. Like that much you want to, right? Fuck herbal life. You want to. So, anyways, Cam, tell us a little about yourself. Where are you from? So, I'm originally from Wichita, Kansas, the middle uh, heart of America. <laughs> um, How would you end up in Austin? Oh, I ended up in Austin. Like, but we, of course, with me. Anyways, guys, of course. I got Coach Cam here with me. I told you I was going to bring her here. She's going to kind of corroborate this uh, a little bit of what we talked about, about positive energy and how it can affect your life on a day-to-day -day basis. It's Wednesday. It's the afternoon. It's about 11.30. And it's his birthday! Oh, yeah. Yay! yeah, I'm feeling good. It's my 29th birthday, and I'm happy about that. Of course, I'm really happy to be hanging out with Cam. She always gets me lifted, guys. You see, do you feel what just happened right there? That's a positive energy shift that can happen in your day-to-day -day life, man. If you're filled up inside with a feeling, right, a state of bliss, you can then start handing that off to other people. So Coach Cam, first, she's gonna tell you a little bit about who she is, what she does, right? Uh, she's also a coach like me, but she, she sticks to the fitness realm. She's a beast in the gym. I know y'all seen some of, uh, uh, of our shots at Fit Camp on Tuesday nights. You can plug that too, of okay. course. Yeah, plug hey. that much as you want to, right? Like herbal life, you know, right. you want to. So, anyways, Cam, tell us a little about yourself. Where are you from? So, I'm originally from Wichita, Kansas, the yep. middle uh, heart of America. <laughs> um, Wait, how'd you end up in Austin? Oh, I ended up in Austin because. Can you guys hear me? 
Can you guys hear me? Okay. Okay. Um, I ended up in Austin. Am I supposed to be looking at you? You can look at whatever you want. Okay. okay. Yeah, look, All right. Part? Scratch that. Oh. Good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So my name is Coach Cam. I'm from Wichita, Kansas, and I moved to Austin about three years ago. Um, I moved here for AmeriCorps. Are you guys familiar with that? No, AmeriCorps. So it's kind of like Peace Corps, oh. but it's in, within the United States. Oh, okay. And cool. we were uh, building houses for underprivileged families. And we also did a lot of repairs on the Onion Creek area. There were a bunch of there was a bunch of flooding, yeah. and so like people were missing roofs and missing their drywall and stuff like that. So we went in there and repaired their houses. Stuff. Yeah, so that was that was really rewarding. That is cool. And you get to travel with them and, around to different places. Well, or that was they... just that was just for one year. So okay. I completed my term with them. It was like over seventeen hundred hours of community service, Man. And like giving back to the community. So I mean, that was that well, was a, okay. So I, I'll ask you this because. And most of you guys will understand why well, I'm going to ask, but I'm going to ask so you can see how her face lights up when she talks about this, guys. Because this is the kind of stuff that will get you off the couch and want to uh, start impacting the world. She said 1,700 hours of community service. So that means you didn't get paid or you did? We got paid a stipend. Just enough to live? Yes. Yeah, so why, why in the world would you spend 1,700 hours doing that? Um, because one of the most rewarding things is giving back to others. Yeah. And like that's where the true, well that's where joy comes for me. Uh, it's like seeing others happy and like helping, just helping others, right. just uplifting them and just giving, yes. giving, giving, yeah. pouring, pouring, sowing uh, as many seeds as possible <laughs> see, without, so without, you know, wanting to get anything back. So just having that genuine passion for helping others. Right. And, 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 and that's what I'm about too. And so everywhere Cam goes, this is how we met, uh, right before South by Southwest. Oh, yeah. She was doing an event. She has a clothing line as well. Uh, and so if you haven't noticed by now, I've been naming off a lot of things that can be doing. And that's because, like she said, she comes from a place where she's filled up inside. She has tons of energy. And so now she wants to give that energy back. Um, and Chuck, we out here on the street. I like I said, met her out here. All, she's busy. I'm busy. So we just cross connected. But nonetheless, um, it is. It's a certain passion that comes from giving back to others. And that's why I think it's important for us to come out and create something, guys. You know, we talked, to, we were talking a little bit before the camera came on about how we know a lot of people who live very positively every day, but might just be kind of like hanging out on the street corner, you know, or, or just, you know, bumming around. And they're great for a smile. They're great to chill with. You know, they're always like, hey, but it, it feels flat. And you wonder, like, why don't they build something uh, that they can give back with and that they can impact positively the people around them, their communities, and neighborhoods. I'm trying to take it all the way to the country, you know. Yeah. Like I said, I'm trying to impact as many people Abroad. as I can. Right? And so either way, doing things like that can obviously, you know, fill you up really deep inside of with a, you know, we always heard from our parents that to yeah. give than it is to receive Definitely. but um you, i think i'm a firm believer and you have to have something to give right and so that's why i'm always uh, a bigger proponent of not people just being happy but chasing a dream or, 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 or chasing a, a passion of theirs so tell us about your passion what do you like love to do what do i oh god that's a hard question so <laughs> okay well as far as what is, is, is your coaching expertise and how you how you use that in your business uh, as far as like my, my wellness, my yeah. wellness coaching, um, I'm really passionate about helping. <laughs> it goes like that, helping others. Right. But um, I use that platform for really helping others see the potential within themselves that they never thought they had. Yeah. So really like digging deep and starting from the ground up and really building up them, building them up, building up their confidence, getting their self love back for themselves. Right. And so. That's another rewarding thing yeah, as far as my wellness coaching goes. Yeah. And being able to, to uh, build those new relationships with my clients and just you know, just seeing them happy. Yeah, They're happy so, with themselves. Yeah, we hang out. Uh, she got me going into her um, her fitness camp. They got a fit camp. Oh, yeah, you free fit camp. Free, it's free. Every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 p.m. Dude, oh, my gosh. And so, <laughs> guys, we'll, I'll plug it all on, on here. But... It is the greatest because not only is it physical exercise, which y'all do oh, yeah. smoking us out there, we're getting a good workout, yeah. <laughs> but the energy is through the roof. I mean, man, you got Cam running around. <laughs> and uh, I hear people every day, the, one of the most profound things is you guys open up and you say, um, tell us something that you're grateful for today or, or the highlight of your day. Yeah. And almost eight out of 10 people say the highlight of their day is hanging out with you guys and yeah. working out that night. So um, that's really powerful when other people get together and, and have that energy as well. 
um, I talk a little bit about uh, mastermind alliances, right, or groups, right? And so getting with other people who are focused on a mission like you are or can support you to grow something, a yeah. business, a, a coaching, or, or uh, anything really, anything you want to make out here. Artists, I, I like talking yeah. to a lot of rappers and stuff, you know, they always got their little creatives, coup, yeah, right, creatives, creatives right? In, in a general, right? Because yeah. it's, it's usually hard to get out there. There's not a lot of certainty, but you have your crew and they'll, they'll ride with you. So you have uh, 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 somebody who's gonna ride with you all the time, right? Another okay. Coach Kimmy, right? Oh yeah, Coach so, Kimmy. Coach Kimmy. Yeah. <laughs> Coach Kimmy. So what has that been like, you and Kimmy building a business together and um, having that support system? No, yeah, it's definitely been awesome. Like that's my schoolmate, yeah. that's my life partner. Right. That's my girl, right there. <laughs> that's my woman. I love that yeah, girl. Right. Uh, no, she just, she, she is so strong and so passionate and just like so, like, she, man, her drive is yeah. ridiculous, uh, crazy. Like, she, I'm, I'm like the go with the flow, like, la, 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 yeah. la, I love you, da, yeah. da. but she is like, man, she's passionate. <laughs> she is, she has a clear vision of what she wants in life, and she just motivates go. me every day. Um, and we just motivate each other to have that, like, that, you know, like yin and yang yes. type of vibe and personality really works well, yeah. and we make it great. Right. And see, and it's good because I think it comes a lot from being able to appreciate the yin and the yang yeah, of it, definitely. you know, having me and my wife, Jessica, hey, behind the cam, hey, you know? shout out to Jess, the cam. Yeah, and young Marcus, but no, Marcus. same thing, <laughs> it's, it's, we all have really different personalities, which at first cause us to bump heads sometimes, mm -hmm. but if you start to appreciate, I see how you talk about yeah. it, so if you appreciate things about them, then they, it starts to become a different feeling, and then you can kind of uh, grow together, you know, that's what I say, grow yeah. together. Grow together, all day, every day. <laughs> Hey, but Cam, I really appreciate you hanging out with me today, my birthday and everybody. Yeah. Happy birthday. Course, happy birthday. So guys, look, I, I just wanted to bring another example onto the show of somebody who lives a lot like we do um, with this positive energy and vibe, but listen to the way that she talks about her life and the things that she does, you know? I think that it's really hard to catch that kind of vibe and to get filled up inside and be able to impact the world if you don't do much, you know, even if you're just sitting on a couch. All these stunts. Uh, things that we talked about doing are free. Hanging out at the Fit Camp, meeting awesome people, right? Where you can network. You know, I met her. She, we're we're cross-branding now. You know, you can meet people to network with or just have a good time, feel positive, take that. Uh, a lot of the people that come to the Fit Camp, that might be the only time they work out that week, but yeah. it, it, it's something that they look forward to and they drive to because there's others there supporting them, right? So finding stuff like that. but. Either way, I just wanted to bring another example and see it's a psychology aspect. We'll come off the interview and then of course I'll teach you guys a little bit more, but I appreciate y'all hanging can out. Can I live them with something? Yes, you can. I wish you would. The impact that you have on others is one of the most valuable currencies in the world. In the world. In the world. <laughs> you can't put a dollar amount on it, man. That paper can't be, it can't value it in that. Right. Perfect, Coach. I appreciate right. you. Appreciate drop, you hanging out with us. Drop Spike. Yay. Yay. All right, guys, back to the studio. <laughs>
and I, and I appreciate you guys, you know, fuck with me, and I, I fuck with y'all, and I hope together we can just grow something, you know, grow something, grow together, and just keep growing more, because progress is just a spice of life, man, you know, just taking action on your dreams, man, one step at a time, figuring it out one day at a time with your homies, and every day you guys are full of positive energy and love for yourselves and each other, and you have that belief in your head that just one day is going to be your day, man, every day is your day, but one day is going to be that, that big day. And when you get to that big day, you're going to get to dream about even a bigger day. And you're, and when you get to that bigger day, you'll be able to impact so many other lives in such a positive way. And I, I'm excited for you. I'm excited for myself. It's my 29th birthday. I got one more year to just really go big before 30, man. And then all through my 30s, I get to just show as many people as I can around the world love. And so I appreciate you guys every day. I know there's just only five or six of you hanging on here today, but tomorrow it's five or 600. And I'm just so thankful for that, man. I love you all. And thanks for spending the Wednesday with me. I'll see you next Wednesday. Peace. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to me. Be happy, happy today. Thank you. Be happy today. It's my birthday. Use it as an excuse.